All right, now the rubber has met the road and it's time to design our client's long-term, short-term, and daily training program. So in CoachRx, we do this very seamlessly. So we always start with a long-term training plan. So we would call this a macro cycle. So we start our long-term plan. We automatically bring in our client's priorities and then we automatically put those inside of the client's long-term plan priority list. But this is absolutely edible. So if we don't really want to focus on uh, upper push-pull structural balance in the long-term plan, we can feel free to remove that. We click a start date for the long-term plan. We can choose an end date. So I'm just gonna go to the end of the year here. It automatically calculates how many weeks that is based on the start and end date. And we can add any additional notes here. From there, we can go into our long-term plan view. So now this is a, let's call it a zoomed out look at the macro cycle. And we can see the meso cycles inside of the training program. So you can see that I already have an accumulation phase developed. And inside of this, we're looking at what the cycle name is, what the dates are that we're rolling through this cycle, what is our OPEX pain or anaerobic work that we're working on in this cycle, and what's our OPEX sustain or aerobic work that we're working on inside of this cycle. So I'm gonna walk you guys through creating a short-term plan. So I'm gonna go from accumulation to intensification. We have cycle characteristics along with this. So just to give you an idea of what should be inside of an intensification phase, we have our start date, which is automatically calculated or generated based on the end of the previous cycle. I'm gonna go a four week intensification phase. I'm gonna keep all of these cycle priorities in here. I can add any notes. I'm gonna go from map seven in aerobic work to map six, and I'm gonna go one time per week, cyclical, and I'm gonna go one time per week, mixed. And then for pain, I'm going to do anaerobic alactic endurance work. And I'm gonna go one time per week. And I'm just gonna do this on the assault bike. So I create my mesocycle and then I'm brought to this view. So in this view, I have a look at what I'm doing over the weeks. If on week four, I wanna shift to map five from map six, I can go ahead and do this. And then on week four, if I wanna, if I wanna flip from anaerobic a lactic endurance to lactic endurance one i can also do this on that screen i can edit any of these pieces that i want to edit as far as cycle notes priorities and i can update the training program so when i say the training program i mean the daily plan so i can do this and this is automatically generated based on when our client told us that their on and off days are so if Monday I want to go squat, bend, push, pull, I can put that there. If Tuesday I want to go map six, I can put that there, so on and so forth. And then once we're once that's all input, now we have a really good look of the short-term plan specifically, and we know what we're doing on a daily basis. And this is such a seamless process to copy and paste this into whatever training uh, design platform that you're using. We love True Coach, so this is a very seamless process for us to copy this into True Coach. And then now we're in True Coach for efficiency's sake on a week to week basis because I already have my plan built out for my client. And now, as you can see, this also shows intensification one coming after accumulation two in our zoomed out view of the macro cycle.